All right, there's my Otis globe. And before we ride, I want to say I do apologize. I'm not using the Otis globe because, um, because on the airplane, they do not allow me bringing metal things for any reason. But anyways, here is going to be... Look, look, at, look at that indicator. That, that indicator looks like it's been modernized. So this is going to be... I guess, uh, I guess the elevator's coming down. I guess I'll, I'll take the next one. Looks like that indicator's been modernized. And here it is. Or we'll watch it close and then we'll call it. Alright, before we ride, this is the elevator here at a private location. This is an Otis, it's got the original fixtures. Anyway, let's ride it. This elevator's kind of busy. <clears throat> Doors are all scratched up. All right, here it is. We'll get a cab view. Well, this is still original. Just the outside indicator has been replaced. It's very slow. I'll go back down to one. Door close and press the button. We love that. This thing does not bounce anymore. That they fixed the bouncing. When I came here in 2008, this thing like bounces when it moved. I think we're stopping at four. Or we'll get a cab at this time. Here's a good friend, Mr. Security. Take it for one more ride and we'll end. This time we'll do the indicator cam. Yes, I'm using my Samsung Galaxy S2 because my TX30 battery is charging since it, ran, since it ran out when I filmed at the Beijing airport. Back down to one. We'll end the video there. Nice chime. Love how the door close button works when you press it. This time we're going to watch, let's go look at these fixtures now. Oh, lost the focus. I don't know what kind of those fixtures are. This time we're going to watch the button go out, like the fixture cam for Cubs 2040.
And there it goes. Button did not go off till the elevator completely stops. So I guess that'll be it, and thanks for watching.